And let me take this time that we might carry the service one out to testimonies or praise. Um, because over the weekend you'll have, all of you will have ample opportunity to uh, really, really minister Saturday night and uh, Sunday and Sunday night. And then those that want to come and help our youth tomorrow night and our youth leaders, uh, Brother uh, uh, Matthew and Sister Sherry, uh, always like to come when I can and just sit back and pray for them and um, do what I can in prayer. And then uh, pray for our young people. They sometimes have six, seven here, eight, 10, 20. They never know just how many they're going to have. Uh, but, you know, anybody to help them with uh, music and singing and praise and, and lifting our young people. If it's six young people here, uh, that's six young people. If it's 20, that's 20 to glorify God. And they come here to worship. They come here to praise Him. No foolishness about tomorrow night. Uh, it, it's worship night. It's praise night. These young people are led by uh, Brother Matthew and Sister Sherry, and they give their heart to it. They feel out in the spirit. They try to see what God would have them to do for our young people. And then we want to pray for our vacation Bible school and tell others about it. And if you haven't enrolled to help Sister Penny yet, uh, get in there and help her enjoy our parade here Friday, 6.30 p.m. out in front of the church. It will be, I think, down this avenue here. And I intend to have me a chair right out by my curbside over there. And see that and enjoy that and be a part of that Vacation Bible School parade. Kicks off at 6.30 p.m. That's uh, Friday. Uh, this uh, week from Friday, and uh, let's just look forward to that. And let's pray for our young people. And you young people that come on youth night, uh, don't give up the ship, don't give in. Remember, you're on the rock. Christ doesn't give. I, I, I'm on the rock. Someone wants to push me around, they can't do it. I'm not going to let somebody push me around. I'm on the rock. My goodness, why would I let anybody push me around? I'm standing on the rock. Praise the name of the Lord. They're not going to make me ashamed. I'm standing on the rock. I'm proud of my church. This is the church of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of uh, 10 young people, 15, 20, 6. Thank God for them. I praise God for them. I praise God. I praise God for you elders. I praise I'm not ashamed of one of you. I am thankful for every one of you men of the Word of God. And I'm not ashamed of our sisters and the Lord here. I'm very thankful for our church. You won't hear me in any way criticize or bad it because I love the church of Jesus Christ. Now, we, we want to pray for Sister Wanda Schoen. She's in the hospital tonight, and we're not quite sure. We're praying she didn't have a stroke. We're believing she didn't. But let's pray for Sister Wanda Schoen. She's in um, uh, Blake, room 209, and we do miss her tonight. She's always right over here on this front, and we want to pray for her. And uh, Lucy Walker, is she at home or in the hospital? She's at home now. All right, continue to pray. And if you haven't seen Sister Judy or you haven't called her or sent her a card, shock. Uh, she's really been suffering this week. We went and had prayer with her Monday. I believe it was Monday or Tuesday. And Monday, I'm sure. And um, she's very much in pain, suffering. And um, take her a little dish in uh, to the apartment. They live here on the grounds now. And see about her. Uh, and, and others that are sick as well that you can. I'm not just singling out one. Uh, Sister Harrison, Debbie Harrison, and uh, we want, we're glad to see Brother Matthew doing better. Aren't you doing better? Yes, and sir. coming along? And, yes, sir. All right. You're a, you're a tough guy anyway. They just can't hardly really keep you down. You keep coming back again and again. Got to go. But no. But no, I'll tell you what it is. You're on the rock. Got to go. Amen. That's why the wind doesn't blow me very much. I'm on the rock. We don't care about with winds or doctrines. But you know, you can't 
you can't be cared about by wind or doctrine when you're standing on the rock and the active, uh, sure, steadfast. And uh, I was in here last night in the Tuesday night service, and I tell you, I I never felt any more of the Lord. You that never come on Tuesday night, you elders, you saints of God that never drop in on a Tuesday night, uh, my goodness, you're missing something so precious. Uh, I heard them preaching in here and testify, and uh, God was blessing them and using them, and I thought, my, what a service this is. God's uh, great grace is here. And uh, I looked down and I saw some of them here in the service tonight. Right here, they were here last night, and they're here tonight on the job. Uh, and uh, I appreciate the saints of God coming in. Sister, uh, I, I, Sister Mary Ann, I am so glad to see you back home. We missed you. Look back there. There is Sister Mary Ann back in the back room. We missed you, and I know, I know that grandchild uh, has grown probably several inches and their new home in Louisville, and you helped them locate and settle. But we're glad to see you home, and we missed you while you've been gone. And let's uh, give uh, all the attention we can to everybody we can to let them know that we love them and praying for them and uh, the rest of God's people. Uh, Friday night, uh, we're going to have a um, <clears throat> witness. Uh, if you want to join us, you can. We'll be leaving here around 6.15, uh, and we'll be going down in uh, Citrus Meadows, and we'll be handing out uh, brochures of the church, talking to them about the Lord, telling them about the goodness of Christ, and uh, being all in that apartment complex, witnessing for the Lord, uh, probably for an hour or so, and uh, we'll be leaving here around 6, 6.15, and if you want to be on the firing line, the front line of witnessing Friday evening, uh, be here and we'll go down and let them see Christ in us, the hope of glory. Lift it up and magnify it of the Lord. Praise our God. I, I think that's what I have. Does anybody else have any special requests or special needs uh, that you want to put before the church right now before we go in? and rest our bodies for a little while. Sister Lee and Farias, uh, that's an important need. Uh, keep her in prayer. Brother Mike Karen's niece passed Yes, down in Fort Myers, Kim. And let's remember uh, Brother Mike and Sister Candy, they'll be going down tomorrow and let's remember the brethren that are working down in Fort Myers tonight, and uh, they're down there. So think about people out of church and say, Lord, help them and be with them until they get back. Sister Willie? Yes, Sister Willie needs prayer. And I believe God will help her uh, right now. And on the board, we'll have fellowship after uh, church uh, Saturday night uh, in the dining room, ice cream social. This is for the school supporting of your school mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have that after service saturday night let's pray for sister willie junior band practice all the young ones that want to come sharpen their instruments up and learn their musical ability at 1 30 saturday at one o'clock saturday here in the sanctuary i urge all the young ones to be here and all the rest of what is required of me. Amen. Yes, let's pray right now. Let's pray, elders, brethren, church, would you join us in prayer right now and ask the Lord to help us? Amen, amen. Father, we know tonight Sister Willie is your child, and we know nothing is too short for your hand. You are able to stretch forth your hand able to reach under this child. And we say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh my God, tonight let your presence, let your glory, let your presence be here. Oh, no better go home. We say we
You know, here's one of our precious elders. And I know God loves this church and he loves you. And there's a precious covering here tonight. And the word has been strong. God has been good to us. And he's good to us right now. I'm going to believe God for Brother Gerald Ackerman's church. Because I know God can help him. I know he will help him. Our vines have tender grapes. Our vines have tender grapes. Yes. Yes.
spiritual homes, my soul. We've had a great night tonight. You've been such a receiving church of the Word of God. And thank you for open hearts and open minds and open spirit. Go with God tonight. I don't believe one of these around the altar of prayer will go home the same. You don't go home the same. You go home encouraged, lifted up in the Lord, knowing that Christ rules in your vineyard and that we have tender grapes and the foxes of the world will just simply say to them you can't be in the vineyard of God. Amen. I love you all and you love one another and let's pray much for one another. I've got somebody on my heart, Sister Bragg, Brother Bill Schoen said please remember her in prayer and the other thing is uh, I want us to pray, and some of you, brother, if you take the time to encourage Brother Jerry Baggett and uh, Sister Brenda. Uh, they, they love God. They're God's precious people. God saved Brother uh, Jerry, I believe, in Mississippi. The Lord showed me. He saved him from a major heart attack. And uh, I think sometimes people start missing services and they stay out. And we just know they're there, but we don't really reach for them that much. Take a little time in some way, pray and ask the Lord to tell you how to do something to say to Brother Baggett. And he loves the Lord. He loves the church. He was here Saturday night in the service, but uh, he, he loves God. He loves the work of God. And uh, his father-in-law, he was here earlier tonight. I think he's over there right now. But... He loves the Lord with earnest, and he wants to see his son-in-law and sister Brenda get back on the firing line, get involved in the church, and let's pray for them. And so you might find a way. The Lord may lead you to use a telephone, use a card, even in some manner of home visitation, and just to encourage for the baggage, sister baggage. And there's others as well. But we want to do all we can to help God's people everywhere to be encouraged. This is the time, this is the day of the Lord, and God's good to us. Good to see our newlyweds back home, and uh, they're not newlyweds anymore. Uh, it, 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 you know, you're newlywed the day you're married. After that, you're married. And, uh, all right? Uh, so now, good to see uh, Diane and Steve back home. Good to see his father down here with us, isn't it? Good to see you both. You know the God. He drives uh, trucks uh, in the city, doesn't like the long distance over the road driving, but uh, he can do other work as well. And if you know the job that's open for him, for the Steve Rover Senior, let us know, because we want to see him have work. And uh, we get his feet down in Florida. May God bless you. Turn to somebody and say, well, I never, never loved you as much as I do right now.